So I think, you know, the biggest challenge is triple negative remains to be a, a very heterogeneous group. And so we use just a common clinical path features, you know, de defined by the absence of the HER2 estrogen and progesterone. And we recognize that that still doesn't give us enough preciseness within that. When we do molecular profiling, we find um, a spectrum of six or seven different types. Um, and so to try to segregate out the drivers of metabolism in those, those that are maybe more amenable to androgen um, receptor strategies. Uh, enzalutamide is a drug that's been looked into that arena and has shown a real promising signal um, because those patients do have a different clinical course than some of these very proliferative, um, invasive, uh, very quickly metastatic tumors. Um, and then the, you know, the association of looking at some of the uh, homologous recombination defects and are those a way to segregate out tumors that might be more susceptible to a platinum-based or a part-based therapy. Um, so I think we're learning to dissect that triple negative is not a one-size-fits-all. It's actually um, a big collect collective term for a bunch of different subtypes that I think each may have a potential of having a, a targeted agent for that typical a way of assessing them by that molecular heterogeneity.